Today, the Vice President of the United States, Kamala Harris, came back home with hundreds of millions of dollars in aid. Fox 11's Phil Schumann has more tonight from the Brentwood neighborhood, not far from the VP's home. Phil. Right, and she'll be spending the weekend here in Southern California, Alex and Christine. You know, the threat of wildfire is something we've all, unfortunately, come to live with here in Southern California. So anything that could reduce that risk will be welcome, whether you're out in San Bernardino, where the VP was, uh, the San Gabriel Valley, Los Angeles, the San Fernando Valley, or here in Brentwood. Here in the canyons, high above Sunset Boulevard on L.A.'s west side, the scars from the Getty fire, October 2019, are still quite real, physically and emotionally. It was hell. We woke up at 1 o'clock in the morning and I smelled the smoke. You might say Marek Dobrowolski is one of the lucky ones. His house damaged but survived. Twelve of his neighbors lost everything. Marek's video doorbell recorded the flames approaching that night as he and his wife and children evacuated, along with thousands of others. So when you hear, like, the vice president coming to Southern California to talk about fire protection, uh, it, that's very real for you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's real. You know, Governor Newsom was here after the, uh, the fire, and uh, a lot of officials were here, but nothing was done. Vice President Harris in the Inland Empire today says the Biden administration is doing something, committing billions to help communities reduce risk, respond to, and recover from wildfires, part of the bipartisan infrastructure bill. Our family, in the last a few years, uh, we've ha we had evacuation orders. Some specifics, increased firefighter salaries, creating more defensible space, restoring burned areas, and improving systems that can detect wildfires. I understand from personal experience how many people in a state of 40 million people, and when you talk about western states, you're talking about tens of millions of people are under threat of these kinds of disasters. Will it make a difference? Those who live in the danger zones, and there are so many, hope so. So do those who've already been through it, like Lisa Chadwick, another survivor of the Getty fire. I have duffel bags ready to go, throw everything in there. Uh, what a list of what I need because I didn't have that when I, we went into a hotel. Yeah. Um, and we had to like go shopping <laughs> at yeah. Third Street Promenade just to get the underwear and the, and the pajamas and the initial needs that you need. One specific thing here in Brentwood, for example, uh, Alex and uh, Christine, you take a look at those power lines. The Getty fire was started by wind that knocked down a branch, which then hit power lines and they exploded into fire. So residents say, why not bury the power lines with some of those hundreds of millions and billions of dollars uh, that the federal government is talking about? It would have to be done at the state and local level. And one estimate is that it's $3 million per mile to put power lines underground. Live in Brentwood, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.